This is my new and improved Notion setup, a complete life operating system in Notion that helps you organize your life. Think of it as your digital second brain that is for holding all your goals, tasks, projects, contacts, notes, ideas, and more in one place so that you don't have to. There's so much to show you. And it just got a whole lot better. Welcome to a complete Notion 2.0. This, my friends, is a Notion template on steroids. And grab a brew, because we've got a lot to talk about. Hi everyone, it's Simon. Welcome or welcome back to Better Creating, where I'm collecting great ideas, tools and tech to simplify productivity and creative life. And well, my complete 2022 Notion Life OS template is ready for download. And in this video, I'll give you the overview tour of the Notion system that I'm using to run my life and creative work. Stick around as we'll cover the fundamentals of how I use it, what's in it, and the upgrades and improvements that I know a lot of you have been waiting for made for this year. There are so many new additions and exciting new bits of Notion inspiration in this template. I've divided it into two videos to cover it all, so make sure to click on the next one after this. There are a ton of new additions, including an integrated daily log and fitness tracker, a new contact and client database linked to an improved create a dashboard, as well as improvements in almost every area, including new weekly board views for tasks, really pleased with that one, um, an improved habit tracker, you can now track several times a week, yes, I worked out the formula, and a Readwise Ready knowledge bank. Links in the description if you would like to download a copy for yourself, and there are chapter markers too if you want to jump between the sections. Finally, a quick note for the thousands of you out there already that I'm very grateful to for already downloading a previous version of my Life OS templates. I'll be emailing you all with a way to access the new version without repaying for the stuff that you already have. It'll just cover my work on the upgrades and the new additions. So if you're brand new to it, it's quite an easy change if you have been around a while. There is a full guide into uh, the template and transferring across from the old one. Just be aware that if you are transferring across, you'll have to choose how you do it, and you do it, of course, at your own risk. Right, let's dive in. Part one, my home screen and the fundamentals of systems thinking. So my system takes cues from David Allen's Getting Things Done, the power method, and other perspectives on productivity systems. And it means that my home screen shows the four key areas that I believe are key to staying stress-free and productive. And they are visualizing, collecting and connecting, actioning, and maintaining. These areas link to the other dedicated dashboards that I'll show you in a little bit. So let's start with my new look home screen. You'll see there's a pretty um, recognizable thing here, a global emoji menu. Now this is all the key dashboards to my system. Below it is a menu to all of the pages and a system menu below, which is all of the databases and various things that support this main uh, system. I've put in the usual things I do with my templates, which is a full guide, including this massive list of all the new updates to the system. So if you are an existing user, you'll see there's a huge amount added to it. I've also created this guide, a guide to upgrading for existing users. This is a comprehensive guide to moving your data across and the various ways that you could do that. And then a list of all the videos that might be helpful to using this. The next section is collect and really connect. My home screen is designed to minimize the friction of capturing things in the moment by using simple inboxes. New for this year, pretty cool. This includes new to-do list items and contacts, logging and tracking daily habits, reflections, workouts, journal entries, all in one place, and quickly even capturing new creative ideas into the content database to add new references and ideas to the knowledge bank and notebooks. These new inboxes are simple filtered views which allow you to very quickly add new tasks, uh, do a new daily log and a new journal entry. So if you click on it, it will take you straight to a new task page. And generally the way it works is you click on a template within the database and it will populate it as needed. Also on this side are other inboxes. So there's a place to put new knowledge if you want to, add a new contact, or um, add a new content idea as they come up. Now next is action. 
I want the home screen to be a place that shows you the right information to start getting things done each day immediately. It's made up of filtered views of key databases that return the most important and relevant information to you when you need it. And that's things like to-do lists for today, deadlines, and projects that might need your attention. This is the second key principle inspired by David Allen in Getting Things Done. It's building a second brain to remember everything that you trust that then returns it to you at the right time so that you can let go of holding the ideas and tasks for yourself and instead focus on having the ideas and doing the tasks. You'll see that everything has been condensed under toggles in this version of my template. The reason I do that is very specific. A, if you're using this on a mobile phone, you can scroll very quickly down it. It's divided by, um, it kind of works down in order and it means you can get to everything really quickly and just click on it. And these are mentions of pages. So for example, if I go to this week, I can click on that and it will go through to a view of just that. If I then go back, if I'm on desktop, I can just drop it down and that same view is there. And it's exactly the same view. I'm using a synced block, as you'll see here, to sync it and then I've pasted a link to the page here and then selected show it as a mention and then you have a link within a toggle. I've also added this year a deadlines view. So this is my example template, it's not my personal workspace, but you'll see for example I've got pay electricity bill there on the 25th and I've got a due date on the 16th So and there's the deadline there. So I want it to split when I want to do something and when it's absolutely the deadline to do it because you can use something like the task calendar and view by due date and move it around but you can also see a view of hard deadlines as they come up and I think this is really helpful. Uh, and this, I'm still sticking to this, you can do an automate IO integration for Google Calendar but I love just having a view of my calendar using this Indify widget and I can just click through using a link to get to it. But my other really favorite new addition to my homepage has got to be here. If I click on this, it's a weekly board view. Finally worked out how to show a week from Sunday to Saturday, because that seems how it gets programmed. And it will search using a filter, which I've made with a formula of whether it's this week or not. And so if the date falls within these seven days of the week that you're currently in, it will show you the view. I'm so pleased with that and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Maybe on another video I'll show you how it works. Also new to this view is a projects favorites area where I can add my favorite projects uh, when they're ticked as favorited. Below that we have the weekly review and the uh, a new goal setting view uh, of my new goal setting calendar. As James Clear famously says, we rise to the level of our goals and we fall to the level of our systems. So I've built the interface around that principle. That means that in this template you can visualize by reviewing your year and setting goals and planning regular practices and habits that will help you get there. There is a hierarchy to the system, meaning that you start using it by reviewing your year and setting the goals and then you can seamlessly link the milestones, deadlines, projects, practices and tasks to them that ensure that your energy is always going in the right direction in order to reach them. Finally, we need to maintain our system and keep things on track. This is about using Alan's concept of the weekly review, an automated review in this case, which reviews deadlines that can be set for projects so that when you see them turn up in the view, you can know to review the projects, review the tasks in them, add new ones, sort the relevant notes and get on top of where you're at. It's also an opportunity to reflect on your goals and how the week's gone uh, and you can do this in a prompted weekly or monthly review in the journal to draw lessons from your experiences. Part two, dashboards, databases and what's new. Now for the really exciting stuff. Let's take a whistle stop tour of each dashboard in the order that you might use them. In this section we'll cover the first couple of dashboards including goal setting, daily log and journal and in the next video we'll go into more depth on tasks, contact dashboards and the rest. So of course make sure to subscribe for more if you're not already. If I quickly click through it there's this one my uh, daily log and you'll see that the synced block that's using it allows you to jump between the pages and it's always there because I've made it on each thing. So there's a new fitness tracker, my new goal setting in year, 
planner, uh, a new look knowledge bank database uh, dashboard, the notebook dashboard, a project dashboard, a creator dashboard, a contacts dashboard, and a financial tracker dashboard. And uh, I'll save that one for later on. So if we click through to my goal setting and year planner, there's a full video on this that I did at the start of 2022. So I won't go into loads of detail about it, but what you'll see is I have essentially here a filtered view of my journal just by monthly reflections so that I can reflect back on the monthly reflections that I would have done in my journal. You list your wins and losses, which you can link to a year. And then you click this button and it will generate a new year plan. Open it up and fill this in. Your vision, your milestones, goals, uh, obstacles and solutions. You then process it into the system and there's a hierarchy. We start with putting the goals in from here into here. And then you'll see milestones, projects, practices. Uh, you can link the goal to each of these. In fact, I think I'd even add, there you go. You see, finishing the template in front of you. And any projects, practices, or exercises that either exist or you want to create. And the way you do that is in these tabs here. You work your way down. So you insert your milestones in here by adding a new one and linking them to the goal. You can set deadlines for those particular milestones so that they show up on the home screen. The same with projects, which will go into your project database. You'll see some examples in here. Now, the practice tracker I'm really pleased with the way I've updated this one. And there's a full view of this on the uh, daily tracker. So let's take a look at the new daily log system. This is how I now log my life. That includes regular journaling, but it also includes tracking habits, fitness, and just generally how you've been. It's a way of kind of keeping track of your life and also using it to make sure you're hitting your goals. The daily log is its own database. There's an inbox here and the journal has its own database. This is essentially a kind of spruced up version of my stoic prompted journal. But what's really cool about it is that I can now link everything and process everything in one place. Today, it will show me that I've not logged because there's nothing there. I'll click on new and I name it by today's date, 16th of Feb, 2022. I can log practices, which I'll show you in a moment. Currently, all I've got in my template is reading time, so I'll say I did that. I can use template buttons. If you ever see one of these, you should click it. You should pick the one you want. If there's just one, just click the one that's there. I can log exercises by going in, anything that isn't a template. I'm gonna do squats, uh, and then I can double click again. I could say that I did some planks, and also I could search that I did a run. And that's how you track stuff. And look, it gives you body weight squats for 40 reps, a report of the way you've set it. So it can show you what you did. I can set my mood, foggy, practices. If you've been using my previous system, a lot of you have talked about the difficulty that there is in that system for all the lovely reporting that it does of being able to track things like two times a week, three times a month, that kind of stuff. You can now track by units. So for example, there's a frequency, you could say seven times weekly, that would be daily, three times a week. It might be three times a month or once a quarter, you can do whatever you want. It will tell you when you last logged something using the daily log. This status will basically say either that you've got more to log or that you've achieved it, basically. How many times you've done it out of what's um, meant to be hit, the progress, the duration of it, when you started and ended it, and the goal that's related. And you'll see there are lots more properties in here that make this thing work. Uh, but what's great is the complexity is behind it and then you use it. Now, we also logged fitness exercises, and this is an entirely new uh, section to the template for me this year. You'll see a view of the daily log database so that you can log workouts here. It will show you a view of recent workouts and it gives you a report of what you did. The way this works is there is a fitness area report, which is areas of work that you could set for yourself, cardio, core, upper strength, body, uh, lower body, all that. Uh, and it will report when you last trained it using a roll up and the total number of times you've trained that area. I've created in here templates for the particular fitness areas to create new ones. So you set the fitness area, the weight, the sets, 
the reps, time or distance, and then the measure, and it will give you a total workout. And then calculate, each time you add a log, it will calculate the total amount that you've done and how often you've trained it. I'm really pleased with that one, like the frequency by which you train something. You could either archive them and create new ones if you wanted to change the sets and distance so you've got a record of them, or if you wanted to, you could just edit these ones within them, make a little log of the last version. So the other thing is it doesn't have to be used for fitness. If you wanted to transform this into a music practice tracker, you could do that. What I like to do is click on here. There you go, there's the templates. I'm gonna do a new daily reflection. I'm gonna call it, and I set the day by clicking in here and picking the day we're on. And that will also report in my daily reflection a roll up of the exercises and practices I've done. So it all kind of links together. What I love about this is it's kind of content, this one. I've created a number of uh, templates which you can choose from, which leads you through different things. This is Tim Ferriss's fear setting example. And there are loads of them, uh, you know, questions to talk about uh, your life in a year's time. Uh, there's a weekly reflection in here. You could go to it uh, via the maintain section on the dashboard each week and a monthly review, which I think is the one to really keep up because you can use that in your goal setting template as I showed you earlier when you reflect on the year. You can also um, create different views within here if you wanted to, just add one. I've made a month view, an historic table view, a calendar. So you know, you try and build a chain of, of dots to make sure you're journaling every day. So there is the overview of my complete life management template in Notion. What do you make of it? Uh, you can download it now on Gumroad or via bettercreating.com slash downloads, use it, adapt it, make it your own. Make sure to click on that next tour video in this series and you should watch this video if you want to see more on how to organise your day using Notion. It would be awesome if you left a comment, amazing if you subscribed if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one.